it's pretty cool with the guy the hat hiding with a goatee you know here's the thing it's a full strength cigar it's full okay it's strong cigar just another day yeah all right Hey guys, Tony Osori, Sass, 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 and welcome to another episode of Cigar Review. Today we have this, uh, you know, I am really confused about this one. So I believe this cigar came from a company called Tabanero. So Tabanero. But the cigar... Um, it's called Narrow, and this is a Toro. And then it's a sixteen dollar cigar where, obviously, the person doesn't know how to roll the cigar has tobacco coming out of it. So I don't know. I'm gonna rip it off. And construction is, is weird. So now there's a pocket kind of on the side of the. Leave. See that? See that loose pocket right there? So hopefully, hopefully it doesn't leak. It's a box press, sixteen dollars. Um, now obviously the blend is <sighs> the wrapper is Mexican San Andreas, and the binder is Ecuadorian Sun Grown, and the fillers Nicaraguan, Pennsylvania, and Dominican Republic, which is okay. Just very cedary smell. A little bit of cocoa, and the more I smell it, the more chocolatey. I mean, the peppery it is. So let's lit it up, give it a try. All right, I should cut it first. Uh. There you go. It dries okay. Light it up real quick. Almost there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Peppery. Cedar. Um, a little bit of musty-ish thing with like um, leftover on the table coffee. Yeah, it's a little bit of uh, like a sourness to it. It's weird because it smells like chocolate, but then tastes like chocolate. I wonder why. It should smell and taste like chocolate, but it's not. Well, I had to smoke a little bit more to, to let you know how this tastes like. It's just really peppery right now. It fills my entire nose with that pepperiness on the retro hill. A little bit sour, a little bit cedary. Um, maybe some really bad coffee with no milk. That's pretty much what I'm getting right now. Draw is okay. And I would say... Maybe a medium plus 
strength right now. All right, be right back. All right, coming back. I actually went just past the second third a little bit because um, the flavor was kind of confusing until almost the end of first third is like the, the, the chocolate, the cocoa start to get more apparent and start to be like, oh, that's what it tastes like. So I smoked a little bit more to make sure that is the case. So first third, you get this like a really sour, mustiness to that cocoa. It always make, almost make it taste like a stale coffee. You know, you get that little bit of the coffee sourness to it and then it feel like you left it on the table for weeks. And then after the first third, when things start to die down a little bit, the pepper start to die down a little bit, then that cocoa starts to wear in and start to be a little bit more sweeter. So yeah, the first third, it's a little bit confusing. Second third, it starts to go more together. Now it's more cocoa. It's cedar and cocoa and less of pepper. Strain still there though. It's definitely creeping towards the full cigar. So draw, I think the draw is great. And for $16, I don't know if I will call a box price $16. I give $9 right now, 9 9 For 9 I think it's reasonable. And 16 right now, not really yet. So we'll see. We'll come back at the second, third, past the band. Well, just around the band. And then uh, we'll check out the band, I guess. Be right back. All right, so here's the thing. It's a full strength cigar. It's full, okay? It's strong cigar. Um, it gets more chocolatey, more sweet. Um, but you can really get that strength through it. So I don't like that part because it's too strong for the flavor that is given to you. And it's for a box price, you get the draw. So you really get that strength. So if you like strength, if you don't like strength, here's the thing, right? So I, I don't know. I don't know how I like about this cigar. For the flavor, I can give now 10, 1050, 1050. You, you you like if you like dark Maduro heavy strain cigars, you might enjoy this. But if you're someone usually that smokes medium, and you smoke a box price, and all all of a sudden cut, catch you off off guard, you gotta kind of watch out for it. You kind of like um, I need to slow down. And I don't like that. You know, you're sm smoking it, you enjoy it. All of a sudden, you're like, that feels kind of heavy. You know, that kind of feeling, I, I I don't I don't particularly enjoy. So. I don't, I don't know what you say about that. Anyways, I did find another name for this. So even though it's called Tabanaro, I think it's from a company called Masida. Masida. So, you know, just for those people who's looking for it, right? Now that we passed the first band, let's take a look at this band. It's just really heavy gauge paper. Similar to the paper uh, Placencia uses or... Um, what are those? Uh, I can't think of another brand that uses this heavy paper right now at the uh, off my top of my head. But places I use this really heavy gauge paper, really hard to rip apart paper. So there you go. And I do like how like the the font almost look like it's like cross stitch woven words in a way. The way they print it with the with the with this little bit texture on the paper. So it makes the word looks like it's woven, sold on kind of style, even though it's not printed that way. So it's pretty cool. I like that. I like the purple and then like uh, olive green-ish color to, to the theme. Not bad. I don't know how it would look good if they, they put gold. If they put like real gold color, it wouldn't be look good. This like dirty green gold actually doesn't look bad. I think it, it, it's pretty good. All right. So yeah. We'll continue last a little bit. I'm gonna finish this really slowly because it's getting heavy. It's making me sweat a little bit. I'm gonna slow down. So, and then we'll come back. Talk about that last bit. All right, I'm down here. Strong cigar. Had to slow down a lot to finish that cigar. So, um, I don't know if I, I. I think people will like it, but the strength is too high for me. So. It wouldn't be a regular cigar for me. Uh, I think the final value for me I would pay for this particular cigar would be $10. So it's a, a lot less than what they wanted.
but you know, specialty kind of thing. I can see why. I just wouldn't want to pay $16 for that. Here is the Ben. It's pretty cool with the guy, the hat, hiding with a goatee, you know. Pretty cool design. I, I, you know, I think it's pretty cool. It's different, square. It's not round. I like the design, so pretty cool. But yeah, for this cigar, I don't know where he get it from. Uh, Eric, uh, smoke one if you have one, send this to me. So, but yeah, I definitely would not buy this for sixteen dollars. Yeah, it's one of those things. Yeah, I don't recommend it. But if you see it, if you feel like interesting, you want to give it a try. You could. It wouldn't be too bad. Okay. So that's it for this cigar review. If you like it, like, subscribe, comment. If you don't, just another day. Yeah. All right. So I'll see you guys next cigar review. Bye, guys.